Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathy watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco XC custom ROM race. Just yesterday I reviewed Pixel OS for Poco X3 and this is Pixel Experience ROM. It's a beta version. You can see Android version is 13 September 5th, 2022 is the latest security patch. Kernel used here is 4.14.198 LAUM. 9 kernel has been used. You can see September 12th latest build this is pixel experience surya 13 beta for poco x3 slash nfc in the description i have given the flashing method steps and how to unlock the bootloader everything will be in the description have a look on description what firmware i used everything is in the description and i have been running the cpu throttling test you can see here this is 10 threads some of them requested to try in 100 threads also i done both you can see in 10 threads the maximum is 155 average is 151 minimum is 141 it's throttled to 95 percent of max performance it's fine and this is the 100 threads you can see it i was running for 10 minutes and 30 seconds and the maximum score is 191 average is 181 and minimum is 158 it's throttled to 93 percent of its max performance which is fine in my opinion this is the pixel experience for surya and it's applicable for karna also this is what the cpu throttling test in both 10 threads and 100 threads it's fine it's nothing change here in both of the testings it's just a numbers guys and i have benchmark results like, oh, like android benchmark you can see the app opening time also 374384 which is highest in my opinion and the 1.2 degree celsius is the battery temperature increase and battery percentage drop is three percentage which is fine in my opinion which is very good in terms of thermals and very soon i tonight or tomorrow will be making a review of some operating systems stay tuned to my channel guys that will be a excellent battery life from but it's an under 12 based from you can have a answer for that let me know in the comment section if you can guys guess it or not i will be making it tonight or tomorrow morning and now moving to Geekbench scores the scores are very good in this particular room especially the anti score which was highest i can say and 545 single score and multi score is 1634 and linux 4.14.198 la um kernel has been used this is not that great but anti benchmark score results are good it's just numbers and again i want to tell it out guys and speed test here i have 100 mps connection no problem regarding that also even the mobile internet connection is fine carrier aggregation support is also working fine i mean the 4g plus support is also available and working fine and drm info you get level one certification no need to worry watching OTT applications like hotstar amazon prime and netflix whatever you want to use you can use that and even the payment applications let me check out here safety net status it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use you can use it out which is working fine no problem whatsapp is also working fine record you get android 13 style this is an android 13 style hence you get this kind of qs panel the power button and settings panel move down on and downside and you get here whichever the app is inactive you'll get these options and this is the quick settings panel and there are edit sections as you can see is exactly same the pixel os and this is pixel experience and little bit of kernel difference i really don't see any major difference only in android benchmark it's showing the big number here compared to previous what i made the pixel os will it make difference i don't think so i will be checking the bgm gameplay also guys and this all the settings and you get all the monet engine customizations and widgets material u design little bit of tweaking has been done compared to under 12 12.1 l to 13 but not a major difference you guys can see this is the app drawer and uh, let's move into settings actual settings and camera application you get basic here maybe with official they will bring some gcam port but arnobel gcam is working fine no problem regarding that anx camera support should check and this is the actual settings you can see here swiping is little bit fast compared to pixel os I didn't expect it that this ROM will launch this particular ROM very soon. It's fine. We can shift to this one when it get official. Let's see which ROM will get official first. The Pixel OS or experience. Let's check out. And battery, battery life you can you can check out here. It hasn't calculated because very soon I am making review of this particular ROM. Adaptive preferences you get and extreme battery saver you get it 
i don't think so you will get extraordinary battle life from this rom you need that you need to wait for other rom it will be coming in my channel very soon sound and vibration you get all the basic settings here me sound enhancer is given hi fi audio support is given select scene and preset and headphone type this all the direct sound settings and basic sound settings are available media player you can enable from here and moving into display settings you get basic settings here also and dark theme you won't get any pitch black condition inside also as you can see you can just schedule it out but there are no options night light is here and colors you can choose here minimum maximum kept to 120 there is no peak refresh rate app but peak ref uh, refresh rate per app is given additional display features don't use that whenever you want to play a high end graphic intense games and there's all the actual settings and location is also working fine the google maps is also working fine security you get just fingerprint unlock and screen lock face unlock will be available once it's get official or some more rom sets needed and encryption credentials you can see rom is encrypted by default and moving into system and gestures system one handed mode and three finger swipe to screenshot is missing here you can see one handed mode is there three finger swipe to screenshot is missing it's clean pixel experience i can say but that would have been better and system navigation if you want you can go back to two by two button and three button navigation left edge right edge sensitivity there is no option to increase the pill length option let's check fingerprint unlock guys as you can see it's get unlocked it's very quick in my opinion also let's check the charging support here you can see charging rapidly hence you can use 33 watt charging in this particular rom which is working fine the ui wise it's fine enough and let's show you this wallpaper sun style and here basic colors you get plenty of colors this is an android 13 visual difference and the quick settings panel if you play media player and if any app is inactive you will get here and nothing new here and automatic brightness sensor here also the option is missing you can see here you need to go into settings or in the edit section is it there even in the edit section that's missing here you need to go for settings to enable or disable the automatic brightness adapter brightness and this is a bug i can say who will go to settings every time isn't it let me know in the comment section guys if you fine with this or not let me know in the comment section and basic things are fine here let's see the bgm and wind of this video it's better than pixel OS, but the dark theme implementation and the what i shown the automatic brightness toggle is missing here i don't know let's see bgm this is how the graphic settings you can see here smooth plus ultra only we won't get any smooth 90 fps option here and i tested both of this rom the pixel OS and pixel experience in terms of bgm a little bit better in pixel OS, but overall experience is a little bit better in this pixel experience it depends upon you guys if you're a casual gamer then you can try both of the roms I recommend to wait for few more updates of this particular ROMs, the Pixel OS or Pixel Experience, whatever it is. Then you can finalize that. Whichever ROM you need, you can finalize and flash it. As of now, stay on Android 12.1 Pixel OS, which was good. And Android 12 Pixel Experience, it was way older ROM. If you have that, you can flash and have a look on that. I don't recommend to jump to this Android 13 if you are using it as a daily driver. It takes a lot more time I guess. Uh, another month you will get a stable Android 13 releases for Poco XC. In terms of Pixel OS and experience I am speaking. Evolution X and other ROMs are fine but someone who need Pixel OS like type then you need to wait for couple of months or couple of days at least i hope you guys understand here as you can see the performance is exactly same as pixel os but don't compare with high fs games like high fs roms support hope so you got an idea in this particular rom how it handle the vgma
you can see there was a frame drop when enemy around me it because of low fps in this particular ROM if you know how to enable high fps using gfx tool then you can try both of the ROMs as I said before wait for few more builds of this official builds or some other uh, October security patch builds then it will get a little bit better in my opinion as of now it's fine if you want to test it you can test it but daily driver I don't recommend the scores are high obviously but this is my opinion and review on this POCO X6 slash NFC the pixel experience beta Android 13 uh, initial build this is don't expect everything from it that's all guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling baba for now